We want our process to be in every cement plant everywhere in the world, making the entire world cement. And we think that we can do that because we think we meet a lower cost. So you're not that ambitious? No. <laughs> What are some of the metrics you use around how profound the carbon impact of concrete is? Concrete is the most consumed human-made material on the planet. Cement, most of the CO2 emissions actually come from the rock that is used to make cement. And that's why folks say it's difficult to decarbonize. At Brimstone, we don't actually agree that it's difficult to decarbonize. We just say it's different to decarbonize. It involves thinking like a chemist not thinking about energy. So at Brimstone, we make ordinarily prone cement, the same cement that engineers and contractors are used to using today. Hi, I'm Will Wynn, and I lead our cement and SCM performance engineering here at Brimstone. When we think about carbon emissions related to the production of ordinary prone cement, first we have to look at limestone. Limestone is one of the main feed rocks that produces prone cement. So in order to use that limestone, we have to release CO2. And in the cement production, that CO2 is responsible for about 60% of overall CO2 emissions related to that of cement production. So to address the limestone issue, we use a different kind of feed rock and we focus on calcium silicate rocks, which are not carbonates and don't release any CO2 when we process them. So those rocks, calcium silicates, are very abundant. They represent around 50% of the earth crust. So we take these rocks, so we turn them from you know, hand size like we saw into powders, and then they go on to getting processed. In the first step of the process, when we extract the main elements from the rocks, so this is what is done here. So this is our subpilot scale units that allow us to extract all the main elements. So once the elements are separated, we recombine them in order to make the product that we want. And we do this at high temperature in different furnaces. Once this part of the process is complete, then you know, we, were, we go on and produce Portland cement which looks like this. Those are some, it's a glue that you'll mix with water and gravel in order to make concrete. So we have you know, a lot of different powders that we've made from different samples over time. You have an incredibly novel and differentiated solution. Can you explain what makes Brimstone different from all of your peers? We are the only company that I'm aware of that can make the exact same material that is conventionally produced or exchange a trillion dollar worth of equipment on installing concrete, right, we make the exact same material. The so civil engineering industry and the construction industry is actually highly regulated and standardized. We need our cement to be ordinary pertinent cement because it can be allowed onto projects immediately. And for us to decarbonize the cement and concrete industries, we need our materials to be used immediately and not have a decades long program of testing to prove that our material is just as safe as ordinary pertinent cement. We're also the only company that can make that in a way that is net carbon negative and for cost parity or better at scale with current modern economic assumptions. Why is this such an important problem that you wanted to jump in and solve it and build brimstone? Cement is a huge problem, the same as cars, and nobody knows about it or cares about it. Because if no one's gonna work on it, someone has to work on it, things don't just change. But what we wanna do with this, right, is we wanna create the next process to make cement globally. And how do we do that? by making a lower cost process that's also better for the world. As of July 2023, I'm excited to announce that Brimstone Cement has passed the ASTM C-150 standard, meaning that if you are a structural engineer or a contractor, you can trust that the cement that Brimstone makes will behave just like all of the cement you've ever used or specified in your career we finally have a credible pathway to decarbonizing cement production. And what has it been like working with Fifth Wall? The word that comes to mind is unique. Unlike any other organization that we've worked with, has sort of been laser focused on trying to connect us with customers. And it's to the point where most, most time we're working with a venture firm, we're like, hey, will you connect us with customers? And when we're working with Fifth Wall, it's more like, hey, we don't have enough for, for your customers yet. Will you back off with connecting with us with customers? You know, and that's the exact place that, you know, we appreciate that. Like that's the exact place we want to be. I mean, we just could not be more thrilled with our investment in Brimstone. And I think the problem you are solving is 
incredibly ambitious, incredibly important, and we are just so thrilled to be partnered with you. Yeah, the feeling is very much mutual.